Hey guys, welcome to a fresh video here on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. In today's video, I did a little exercise with you, well, mostly those of you who are also on Twitter or X, and I asked the question, who is our most important player and why? And I got a number of responses and I got a number of reasons and I wanna go through them because I, I found this to be a really interesting exercise. It kind of stems from yesterday's video around Tom De Koning and how important he's become. So I thought I'd, I'd ask the question and engage interest. And what was curiously positive for me was that we did this last year, who was our most important player. And I think generally speaking, there was a consensus that Weedering was our most important player. And I think after you see some of the replies that I'll go through, he still is up there, but we have got a few more names that have been added to the mix. And it's not that they haven't always been important, but I mean, when you talk about the likes of Tom DeConing and you know the re-emergence of Patrick Cripps in this conversation, it makes for some interesting discussion. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna go through some of these replies and then I'll ask you at the end of this video who didn't see the question to give your take on who is Carlton's most important player and why. Now, there were many replies. I've tried to capture as many as I could. So, Jimmy Faz, good man, says Jacob Wiedering, because you can win premierships without elite key forwards, but you have no chance without an elite key defender. I think he summarizes that pretty well. Daniel Porter says it was Weeders, but now it's a tie between TDK and Weeders. It's really interesting. I think TDK, as we said yesterday, he, he provides this point of difference. And I guess you could even call it a competitive advantage on the field that not many clubs have when it comes to the ruck position. Eric says, P. Cripps, the heartbeat of the club, without him, a lot would have left. And I think this opens up a sub question around, well, what do you mean by most important? Is it on field? Is it off field? Well, I just mean most important, the total package. And I'm not trying to get into the Messiah complex, very mindful of that. But at the end of the day, you have a, a salary cap and it's not evenly spread out. Therefore, you value more people than others because of what they bring. Cripps wasn't too much in this conversation last year. Not that he wasn't as important, but I think now that we see the leadership that he provides, and I just guess the aura of him, both from an on-field perspective, an off-field perspective, getting the boys believing in the group and and sticking together. I think it's a I think it's a fair shout. Tim says Tom De Koning doubles as an effective clearance mid as well as a very effective leap ruckman. His versatility extends to being able to go forward, although that part of his game is still developing. No coincidence, our best run this year coincided with his best string of form. It's a good point that patch between rounds 11 and 16, we more or less unleashed De Koning as the sole ruck and he really elevated. You know, he and Pito were battling it out early in the season. I think there was a philosophical switch between rounds 11 onwards and then he went for it and like Vossi said in his speech at the John Nichols medal, there was a breathtaking patch of form. And, you know, I think it's no coincidence that the Koning was a part of that. So good call by Tim. Franco says, Weeders, without him, our backline is fucked. It's a fair point and it's true. And the chat around trade period, I know that we're talking about Dan Houston for a lot of it, but and I said yesterday, we don't need as much in the back line as what we do other areas. Uh, what I meant, and I forgot to quantify that, was, I mean, we probably do need a key position defender. Now, as it stands right now, it looks like Lewis Young is going to stay. That might be for another video. Um, so the best case scenario is that Lewis Young improves, elevates, gets himself into the team to a level where, you know, the coaches and the teammates trust him to perform a role and he performs the role. And maybe it'll allow Jacob Wiedering to, to be a little bit more freed up, but no doubt Wiedering is one of, if not the most important players in the team. Adrian Sell says, no need to reinvent the wheel here. Our key player has to be Patrick Cripps. As captain, he's the engine in the midfield, leading by example and getting the team going with his toughness and skills. 
pretty good summary. Daniel says, Fog, look at the wins and losses when he plays. Interesting. Fog, it's a bit of a barometer. I like it. Matt Thomas says, Weedering is the one we can least afford to lose. Crips is the best. Fogarty is the good luck charm. But would be interested to know what our win-loss ratio is when TDK plays well. Feels like the most important equals he plays well, then we win. Well, that's another question. Uh, that's another question. Like, what, what, what do you classify as most important? I didn't really define most important. I just let you interpret it. Uh, most important is a very broad term. I mean, you can break it down. Most important on field, most important off field, most important in big games, most important in a final. But just think what I meant by the question was the sum of everything when it's all said and done. Because I, I, if we were separating on field and off field, it might be a different player. But I think if we're talking about the the entire picture, I'll get to what I think shortly. Mark says 100% Cripper, throws the boys on the back week in, week out, an absolute barometer. TDK and Weeders, special mention, have seen Charlie turn a game here or there too, but seriously cropped work, cropped work in the middle sets the tone I think he means Crips. Seriously, Crips work in the middle, sets the tone and the play. It's interesting. Charlie didn't get too much of a mention. I think 12 months ago, Charlie would have been right up there. I think Charlie is still a big key. I think because we have Charlie and Harry, you know, you can not afford to lose one, but there is a replacement and a, and a power forward there that can still kick three, four, five goals. Uh, and that's the beauty of having them both there. They're both all Australian caliber Coleman medal winning um, key forwards. So Charlie, I think has that game winning ability, but yeah, it's an interesting one because at the end of the day, you got to win the ball to get it down to the forward line. So there's that. But I, I do think Charlie has this, he's got this spiritual leadership that he brings to the team. He's got, he's got some magic. And when he gets going, the team gets going. Cookie, he also says, Charlie, after he hurt his ankle against GWS, he wasn't the same and neither was our team. It's a very good point. Brian, De Koning and Weedering are the two players we cannot replace with an A grader or even a B grader. That's an interesting point. And it goes back to what I was saying around, you know, Charlie, like if he wasn't there for whatever reason, Harry would be able to fill in and not be the same player as Charlie, but you would still be able to get a level of production at a high, at a pretty high level too. FDR, it's a great question. Top five, throw a blanket over Cripps, Weedering, Kerno, Walsh, TDK. The top three are irreplaceable, but we failed miserably when TDK and Walsh weren't fit. This is one of the first few times Walsh got mentioned. So what I notice when Walsh doesn't play, the running power of the team just isn't there. And it's, he's a really interesting player because when he does play, after the layoff, we notice him for the first few weeks and then he sort of slots in and we almost take him for granted as supporters because he's just, he plays at such an exceptional level and he's consistent and we kind of get used to it. And I think we do take it for granted a bit. And then when he's not there, we, we feel what's missing in that midfield. So interesting there. Debbie says, I would have to say Cripper. He leads by example and has carried the team for the last six years through thin and thinner. He's irreplaceable, not just as a mid and contested ball winner, but a leader. Well said, Debbie. Captain Keys says, what a fucking stupid question. Matt always is the answer. Pay the man. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. And so that's that. There, there are a few more replies. Uh, take a look on X if you'd like to go and follow Blue Abroad Media is the, the handle. And so I think I think it's still Jacob Wiedering, personally. I think he's still our most important player, taking into account everything. Now, Cripps obviously does a lot for the club, and I think the value of him getting the boys united can't be understated. And there is a strong argument that he is our most important player. He's definitely this year elevated himself back to being our best player. 12 months ago, we were all, well, sorry, a lot of us were saying it was Walsh and, you know, full preseason into Walsh, Brownlow Walsh. 
Um, but the, the one constant that's remained there the entire time over the last five years, he's always been in this conversation and that's Jacob Wiedering. So I would still have Jacob Wiedering as one. It's Wiedering, Crips and Deconing for me. Wiedering is one and then Crips and Deconing, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to how to how to split them um and i think the other interesting part around this conversation is you know you've got let's just say two of the top three consensus most important players in the team they are the two that's weedering and deconing they are the two who we are talking about contract extensions because they're both out of contract next year so it's it's a very important time and i think it just highlights how different our opinion can sway after a season and also it highlights uh, how important these contracts are going to be. So what do you think? If you didn't provide your opinion on this, drop a comment below. Who is Carlton's most important player and why? Let's discuss. Yeah.